All right, welcome to the SAM Project 7B, or so, excuse me, 7A, Project 1 for Module 7. This is the Cronus Bank Newsletter. So let's go ahead and open up that data file. So open, browse, and wherever you keep those data files. And this is going to be the 7A, your name, underscore 1. Now, it's important to know with this one, you will also need the support file 7A character, which is a picture, and then the 7A quote, which we'll be inserting into this document as well. So let's go ahead and do a save as, and wherever you save those data files, or excuse me, wherever you save your project files is where we're going to do it. All right, and again, you're just saving it as the underscore two. All right, so let's, this should be a quick project because this was um, there's only a few steps to it, um, and it's not and not too challenging. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to convert the text at the top of that newsletter, this Cronus Banknotes. Select that text. Let's go to Insert Your Text Group. We're going to choose word art, and we're going to choose the word art fill white, outline, tan, accent color 5, shadow. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to change the text wrapping to top and bottom. And then we are going to resize that so that it is 1 inch by 7 inches. Alright. 1 inch by 7 inches. Okay. Ha ha ha. I don't know why mine's not working. Let's try that again. 1 inch. by seven inches. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Oh, <laughs> I apologize. This is tedious. Okay, wow. That was painful. Okay, your computer will not do that. This is this is totally my computer. All right, so let's go ahead and change this text to California FB. So that's our heading style, and we're going to change it to 48 point font. All right, and then we're going to change the text fill. So we're going to make sure we've got that text selected or the and we're going to change our text fill to medium gradient accent 4. So let's go to our gradients and then more gradient. And we're going to choose a gradient fill preset medium gradient accent 4. All right, and then we're going to apply the square text effect. So text effects and transform in that square. All right, so there's that first couple steps. Now we're going to insert a continuous section break at the beginning of this first body paragraph, this according. I'm just going to bring our insertion point in here. I'm just going to turn on my formatting marks, layout, breaks, and then continuous section break. All right, and the next step says to apply the newsletter format by doing the following. Format the text below this break into two columns, or excuse me, three columns. So we're going to choose columns, and then let's go to more columns. We're going to choose three and change the width to 2.2. That will change the spacing to 0.2. And then OK. And there's our columns. We're going to apply a dropped cap. So where it says according, we're going to select the A 
Go to our Insert tab, Text Group, Dropped Cap, and we're going to choose the dropped version. And we're going to change that A to the color Tan Accent 4, Darker 25%. So Tan Accent 4, Darker 25%. All right. If you want to go ahead and save your progress as we're moving along, go ahead and do that. Step number seven says complete the smart art in column two. So right over here, by clicking on the, the picture and the character placeholder, go to insert your picture from a file. It's going to be in your data files for module seven, SAM project, and this is the 7A character. Go ahead and insert that. It's going to pop up that little brain thing in there. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and insert a text box. So it says step 8A in the green text box shape. So right here, we're going to select that text, go to our insert tab in our text group, object, text from file and we're going to choose the quote. So this is going to be the 7A quote. So again, I have it in my data files for Module 7 SAM projects, and this is the 7A quote. Insert. There it is. And it says resize the text box so that it's 1 inch by 2.1 wide. So select that text box, format it, the size will be one inch. By two point one wide. That'll be an absolute. All right, and then okay. There it is. And then it says move the text box to an absolute horizontal position. So we're going to go to Size, Launcher, Position, and then choose our absolute position of 5 inches to the right of the margin, and then an absolute vertical position of 7 inches below the margin. So 7 inches below the margin. OK. I'm just going to bring it right down here at the bottom. All right. Then the next step tells us that doesn't look like that should have that. No, let's see. That's what is that? One inch. Okay, yeah, actually, I don't think we should, we're supposed to have that extra paragraph mark there. I deleted mine, but because it makes it look better that way. Anyway, sorry. Um, we're going to insert a column break. So this is on step number nine. Insert a column break at the beginning of protecting. So right here, just bring it up there. Layout tab, breaks, and then column break. And then we're going to format and reposition the logo at the end of the document. It's right over here. So click on that logo. And for this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because we're going to have to do some little small work. So we're going to go ahead and crop the picture. So select it, Picture Tools Format, Crop. And we're going to crop that big red bar out from underneath it. And then we're going to rotate this right 90 degrees. And then we're going to change the position. Our position will be bottom center with square text wrapping. And then we are going to, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We are going to grab this anchor right here. 
and it says move the anchor to the beginning of the paragraph evaluate your business so we're going to move this anchor to right up here so you'll see that little blue anchor in the middle of my screen right in front of the evaluate your business release right there it should stick right here all right and then we can take a look at it in our one page view and looking at that it looks precisely how the other one looks so we should be good go ahead and save that and submit it